Yo, what is going on guys? It's Juan Solo here with A Squad Gaming. In today's video, we are going to be talking about some more updates that Raven Software has been doing behind the scenes. I wouldn't say behind the scenes, but for Modern Warfare Remastered. And so basically they've been making a bunch of changes uh, throughout the, the last couple weeks or so after Call of Duty XP based on what fans want for this game. You know, they changed the announcers, they changed some of the sound effects of some of the guns, they changed some logos in the kill feed. And now, just today, Wendell Wobble put on his Twitter, Raven has added an option to disable the in-game HUD icon display for medals. So basically, there's been a lot of people that were talking about the medals that pop up on screen um, after you kill people, or you get a one-shot kill, or you go on a bloodthirsty, you know, whatever. All those things pop up on screen, and I believe they started doing that in Black Ops 2, and they call them participation medals. So basically, if you guys will just look on the screen here, and basically if there's a green logo that pops up at the top of the screen, like right there, Vanguard, that is what they're talking about. That is a medal that pops up in-game. It's kind of like a performance medal or whatever. But basically, they there was a lot of people that didn't want that because Call of Duty 4, the original Call of Duty 4, did not have that. It was Black Ops 2 that really started doing that, I believe. So don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to go back and go through all the games and double-check, but... Uh, they a lot of people didn't want that they wanted at least an option to turn it off so today they did officially announce that there's going to be an option in the menus that allows you to toggle it on or off and all that does is disable the heads up display you know that pops up on your screen so all those things that pop up at the top of the screen it basically turns them off so they don't pop up on the screen you still earn them so after the game, you can go into like your post-match report and look at all the medals that you got during the game. They just won't pop up during the game while you're playing. So a lot of your, your hardcore Call of Duty 4 guys that didn't want that, they wanted as close to the original as possible. You know, me, I'm, you know, I kind of like the medals and then, you know, I kind of want to do have some, you know, some gameplay where it'll feel like the classic Call of Duty where you got is basically it looks as much like the old ones as it, you know, as it can. So the fact that we do have an option now to turn that off, that is the first Call of Duty that allows you to have an option to turn those on or off. And it's just the fact that uh, Raven Software is listening to the fans. They have done it again. I honestly, a lot of YouTubers are talking about this, and I'm just going to say it again. It's kind of like a broken record. But please, please let Raven Software develop a standalone Call of Duty. You know, let them have a year... Or even maybe, you know, halfway through a year, publish a brand new Call of Duty that, say, comes out in May or something like that. You know, obviously that's a lot of Call of Duty in the same year. But the amount of feedback that they're taking from fans and using that to make their game better and the amount of just, you know, the attention to detail and just everything in this game is second to none. I would love to see them have their shot at making a Call of Duty from the ground up, especially after they just said that if they were to do one, a standalone game, they would do it in the Modern Warfare era. So it would kind of be very, very similar to Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 style game. It would basically be something very similar to that. And with how much attention they're paying to detail and all the things with the fan feedback that they're listening to with Call of Duty 4 Remastered, man, please give them a chance. Give them a chance to make a Call of Duty, a standalone Call of Duty. But uh, that's just me rambling, guys. But this, was, this video was just to update you guys on a few more changes that uh, Raven Software has been making to make Call of Duty 4 great again. So like I said, they did make an option so that you can toggle the medals on or off so that they don't pop up on your screen. You will still get experience points for those medals. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much all for this video, guys. I just wanted to make a quick video to update you guys on what was going on. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like. It really helps me out, and it only takes a second, guys. Also, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for more awesome Modern Warfare Remastered content in the near and upcoming future, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.